Good morning. I am Asha here from the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Global Academy of Technology. Today I will be discussing on the linear programming problems. How to solve the linear programming problems using graphical method. In that I will be discussing on the redundant constraint. See, what do you mean by a redundant constraint? A redundant constraint is a constraint that can be omitted from the system without changing the set of feasible solutions. So even though you remove that constraint, it does not going to change the feasible solution or the workable solution. So that is the meaning of redundant constraint. Let understand this problem by solving the problem. So it says that maximize Z equal to 120X1 plus 100X2. And there are four constraint and a non-negativity constraint. So we'll take the first constraint. So first step in graphical method is to convert the inequalities into an equation. So here you have lesser than or equal to sign, change into equal to sign. So that is the first step in the graphical method. For all the constraint, you have to do like that. Then substitute x1 is equal to 0, then find out the value of x2. Then substitute x2 is equal to 0, then find the value of x1. Like that, you will be getting coordinates 0, 16, 8, 0 for the first constraint, 0, 11, 11, 0 for the second, 0, 3, 6, 0 for the third constraint, and 0, 15, and 8, 0 for the fourth constraints. So now you have to plot these coordinates on the graph sheet, taking x1 along the x direction and x2 along the y direction. So you have plotted the graph. So the red one is the equation one, green one shows it is the equation two, blue one is three and brown one is Four. So these are the four different constraints that you have got the coordinates and plotted along the graph sheet. So if you take the equation one, which is red in color, so the equation is 2x1 plus x2 lesser than or equal to 16. So take any random point below that line. So I can take 0, 0. So substitute 0, 0 in this equation. So 0 lesser than or equal to 16. Yes, obviously it satisfies this equation. 0 is less than 16. So arrow mark should be towards the origin. Okay, next equation. So I have drawn the arrow marks towards the origin. Next is the second one is x1 plus x2 lesser than or equal to 11. That is represented by the green line. So if you take any point below that line, so I'll take 0, 0. So is 0 less than 11? Yes, it satisfies the condition. So the arrow mark should be towards the origin. Next, x1 plus 2, x2 greater than or equal to 6. So that represent the blue line. So here, if I substitute, take any point, random point below this line, so I'll take 0, 0. So 0 greater than or equal to 6. So it doesn't satisfy the condition. So whatever my feasible region should be above this line. That is, it doesn't satisfy. So the arrow mark should be away from the origin. So the fourth one is 5x1 plus 6x2 lesser than or equal to 90. I'll take any point below that line. So it is 0, 0, 0 less than 90. So it satisfies the condition. So arrow mark should be towards the 
origin so my feasible region is above this blue line below this red line and green line and the brown line so my feasible region will be a b c d and e so this is my feasible region get the coordinates of all these points a b c d e substitute so i have got a point a as 0,3 b as 0,11 c as 5,6 d as 8,0 and e as 6,0 now first one will be the x1 value second one will be the x2 value so these are the coordinates of point a substitute in the z equation that is the objective function equation so and get the z value so here the problem is maximization problem so out of these whichever is the maximum you select that out of these 1200 is the highest value that is occurring at point c for the coordinates 5 comma 6 so x1 value is 5 x2 value is 6 and z value is equal to 1200 but here this equation 4 that is the brown color line represent the equation 4 and this line is called redundant constraint because you can see here even though you remove this brown line it doesn't affect the solution space or the feasible region it does not playing any important role in the feasible region that's why it is called as redundant constraint that means even though you remove this fourth constraint it is not changing the feasible region or it is not affecting the feasible region that's why here the equation 4 is called the redundant constraint okay so here the maximum z value is 1000 1200 thank you